All right, now we're going to lean GIMP out to work on a system, your system, whether you're at home or whether you're in the computer lab. So if you're at home, I want you to go to Start, go to uh, Control Panel, go to Systems and Security, and click on System. Here it will tell you how much RAM you have. I have 12 gigs of RAM. Okay. Now on a Mac um, or in the lab, you go to Apple and you go, I think, about Mac, something around there. Go to the Apple menu and go to about Mac. It should tell you right there how much memory you have. So now that we know our RAM, um, we can go in here and go to Preferences. And in Environment, we can set the maximum cache of tile size. So I have gigabytes of RAM. But that doesn't mean I have a, a cache size of gigabytes. So usually what I do is figure out megabytes. Now, there's a thousand megabytes in a gigabyte. Okay, so if I get 12 gigs of RAM, I can roughly put 6,000 probably in here of megabytes. So, or I could just drop this down into gigabytes and type in six. Six gigs. For megabytes, I'm not really, I'm not really concerned about too much of the undo memory, but for those people that make a lot of mistakes, you might want to add, you know, like maybe a hundred megs to that one. Okay, so let's test out that water. Let's go to new document, and we're going to make a document that's huge. We're going to eight and a half by eleven by three hundred dots per inch. It's not really huge, but resolution-wise, it is. This is a good test. And then I want you to go over, get a brush, get something that has some texture to it, like these bigger brushes. Then I want you to turn on your fading or any of these dynamics. These dynamics now occur based upon pen pressure. I'll do fading and tapering. I like that one. All right, so let's mess around. And I want you to scrub around on the document and see how much you could do before it nags you. Now, if you have a slow computer right now, you're not going to be able to do as much as I can do right here. And that's why I have to show you how to adjust that memory. Because if you get it in perfect harmony, you should be able to go fast on a 300 dots per inch document and still maintain um, some level of you know design if you hit X on the keyboard you can uh, switch so you can see that nag message isn't coming up for me so I can actually increase that just a little bit so I'm going to try the 8 hit OK And you'll see that it's much faster. And I just constantly switch colors until I get the nag message. And it's not coming up. Good. Okay, I'm going to stick with nine because I'm pretty happy with the results. But that is how you tune your GIMP to your machine or the machine in the lab. Enjoy. Let's move on to the next video where I uh, walk you through what it means to make a brush and make resolution and drawing and all that good stuff.